Hi, my name is Kendra and welcome back to This Cozy Space. Today, I wanna to chat with you all about one of the books that I read that forever changed my life as a reader. Grab something cozy to drink and a yummy snack and come on back for a little bit of a story time. Around this time last year, my family and I set out for what we call the road trip of a lifetime. And I do think it will forever in our family be known one of our most epic, known as one of our most epic adventures. We packed up our van with our two small boys and our dogs and we hit the road for a month. Hopping from state to state, city to city, cabin to cabin, Airbnb to Airbnb, we had so much fun. As I was getting us ready before the trip, getting everything packed and sorted, I lamented over all of this wonderful reading time that was soon coming my way. Oh my gosh, I would read in the car. We're gonna be in the car forever. Surely I will read. I will read in the mornings with my coffee on all of these wonderful patios we'll be staying at. I'm gonna read when the boys are out playing in the woods as I'm watching them. It's gonna be awesome. So I came up with the best possible TBR that I could create and packed all of my books away and out we went. But guess what? None of that reading time happened. Nope, 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 sure didn't. I tried my best, but for some reason, I just couldn't sink into a book. Um, I would pull through my bag and think, okay, it's just, this is not the right book. Let's try this one. And I would sit with it for a little bit. I would read 15 to 20 pages. No, 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 no. It's not, not this one, not this one. And I would go to the next one. And then I realized my brain was so scattered during this trip. I had so many things running through my brain as far as what we needed to take care of as we set out on our next leg of the trip, how I needed the car to be organized so that we could get to things that we needed to get to, what activities we had going on that day. Um, I just couldn't mentally sink into a book, but I felt that something was off. And perhaps you felt this before if you are an avid reader as well. It becomes such a part of your being that when you're not reading or you don't have a book going, you just get this, it's like a, like a unsettled kind of static key. It's just in the background, you're fine, but like you just are needing something. You need something. And for me, it's a book. A book always fixes that for me. So even though I was trying to have all of this reading time and couldn't connect with any of the books, it was a perfect case of it's me, not you, but in a book form. So fast forward, at some part of our trip, we were in Oregon, and we we're seeing this really, really cute community. Um, they had activities for the kids, and there's a grocery store in the community, and restaurants, and they had a bookstore, yay! So of course I went to the bookstore. I can't remember the name of it. If I can think of it, I'll put it down in the description box below. But I'm walking through the bookstore and I'm just looking at all the books and I'm not really wanting to buy anything because I'm thinking I brought so many books and I'm not reading any of them. So it just wouldn't make sense for me to spend more money on a book. But then as I'm walking up and down all of the shelves, I find myself in the cozy mystery section. All right, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's go to Kendra me before the road trip. I knew about the cozy mystery genre. I would watched the cozy mystery genre and I had lots of snooty snoot snoot thoughts about said genre. I'm so sorry. I've learned my ways. I'm so sorry. And this is part of the reason I'm making this video. But I, I need my books to really pull me in and keep me focused and I love adventure and I love being taken on a journey with characters as I watch them grow and change and learn. Um, I don't like my stories and, and twists and turns to be spoon fed to me. I like to go on the journey with the story or the characters that I'm reading about. And I really felt like Cozy Mysteries would do all of the opposite of what I want in a book. Not to mention, I thought the covers were a little bit cheesy. So when I'm back looking at this cozy mystery section, something weird happened. I looked at these books and I thought, oh, look at all these cute dogs and cats on the cover. And is this one about a coffee shop? And oh my gosh, look, it's a book mobile. I saw them in a different light and perhaps they just found me at the right time. So I decided to give them a try. If you buy a, pa a paperback, depending on how new the release is, it's going to cost you anywhere from 
13 to 17 18 dollars if you buy a hardback those are a lot more expensive they can cost up to 27 dollars or more but the cozy mysteries i was looking at were around the six to eight dollar price point so i thought you know what it's not that much i'm gonna get a couple and give them a go and if they don't work I didn't spend a ton of money. So I grab a few, I'm holding on to my stack of books and still kind of just walking around and looking at the covers. And I see a mom and her daughter come into the bookshop. They are so tickled about books. And as a book lover, anytime I come across anybody who is tickled about books, my little book feelers go up and I get so excited. And I will probably listen to your conversation. Sorry, it's true. I think this is just like the, the truth share right here because I've just said a lot of truths. And yeah, I will listen to your conversation. I will live through your joy of books, but it's all from a good place. So this mom and her daughter were talking about this cozy mystery series and they were kind of talking about, oh, this happened in the, in the previous book and do you remember when this happened? And oh, do you think this is gonna happen in the next one? And they were pulling up their phone and they were looking to see which one they needed to read next in the series. And I thought, oh my goodness, like they are all about this and look at how precious they are. And if they are this excited about these books, I need to be a little bit more open-minded. I need to give these a try. And I also need to pick up whatever series they're talking about. So once they left and they were gone and I was no longer creepily listening to them, I went over to the section they were at and guess what? It was an end cap and the whole end cap was filled top to bottom with the Bake Shop Mystery Series. <sighs> you guys know, maybe you don't, maybe you're new here. My love for the Bake Shop Mystery Series, it just explodes from my body when I talk about it. Um, you'll hear me talk about it a lot more in these videos, but that is how I got connected with this book. This is the very same book that I picked up that day in that little tiny bookstore in Oregon. I have a picture with it. I will put it up some here, somewhere here so that you can see. I left with two other books that day, but they didn't click as well as this particular book did. And this was my gateway book into the world of cozy mysteries. And I have not turned back. Here we are a year later. I've read through so many series. I continue to read through the Bake Shop Mystery Series. I'm taking it so slow because I like that I have a log of books ahead of me. I'm not caught up yet to where I'm having to wait till the new release comes out. Um, and since then, I have shared about Cozy Mysteries on my Instagram quite a bit, and I've met lots of new buddies who also wanted to try Cozy Mysteries. And in fact, I even started my own Cozy Mystery book club. We meet via Voxer, which is like a walkie-talkie app, or is it WeChat that we know we use Voxer. And we've been reading through the Cozy Mystery Bake Shop Mystery, the Bake Shop, sorry, the Bake Shop Mystery series together, and walkie-talking back and forth about our love for the series. And it's been so fun getting to know them a little bit more through the love of books that we share. Um, and that's my story of the book that I read that forever changed me as a reader. It's this one right here. If you have any stories about books that have forever changed you as a reader, I would love to hear those. Share them below in the description. Reach out and share them in a way that you feel comfortable. I would love to chat with you. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.